Hey y'all, I am back. I am back. Oh my gosh, you can see them grays for real now. <laughs> I am back with another reading from Iron Sharpens Iron Chapter. Now I have actually been sharing the reading of this book on Facebook, but the actual videos are uploaded on my YouTube channel and there are some others like like what I had decided to do because I've already begun reading another one in my books I'm not gonna tell y'all which one but what I decided to do is where I would share this book here directly on Facebook the other books are being shared on my youtube channel and so and they're going to be uploaded beginning in december like I'm, I'm scheduling them out so beginning in december they're going to be uploaded one a week and if you want to check it out you got to go to my youtube channel um so i'm, I'm gonna do it like that so anyway so I've already begun the other one, but I'm here for chapter two and chapter two is entitled the complex litigation. Now litigation is a process of taking legal action. And one of the things I shared with about this book is that if you were to look at the table of contents, you'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The table of contents, each of the chapters are named using legal terminology. That was something that I discovered in the writing and editing of this book, that it was a whole legal case. I was like, well, as so I had to even call my daughter, who at the time was studying law, she is now... Um, she's Esquire now so she's now actually a lawyer now been sworn in and everything I'm so proud of her but I had to call her then and I'm like you know and we were talking and going over it and, and so yeah so anyway chapter two the complex litigation iron sharpens iron book one is business baby not personal it's business <laughs> not personal so here we go it says did some of the charges against the sons of Eli sound familiar to you like some of the things that are being ex exposed today in the news about some impositions of leadership? You might be aware of instances where some in pastoral or ministerial positions might have been accused of having their hand in the kitty finances or involved in some type of sexual misconduct. Though in this writing, I am specifically addressing those in pastoral positions. I once again take a moment to note that what is being discussed directly affects anyone in any position of authority, leadership over another. As a matter of fact, we have seen quite a lot of this abuse recently in news reports regarding corruption in the various departments of our government, in businesses and media, and just straight across the board in every aspect of life where leaders and authority figures have abused their authority over others. These abuses by those who held positions have been both shocking and hurtful. Today, we the people have grown tired of the injustice and tired of the abuse. So now we are saying enough. Recently, the news has been overwhelmed with issues of abuse of authority exposed amongst some who operate within the judicial department of government. Many have viewed this abuse as being racially motivated and have reacted based upon such views. The racial divide has fueled many violent protests that have marred the United States. Yet what appears as issues of racism that are surfacing and or resurfacing is really a single root that was masked in racial hatred. That root, the core of the issues that has caused much unrest, 
is that there was a gross abuse of authority by individuals who were placed in positions of leadership that went uncorrected for a long time. It is not as if no one saw what was happening. The problem is that those who were responsible for administering the correction didn't. Why? Why was correction withheld? What were the consequences of not addressing the issues? And that was chapter two. See how short that was? But don't get comfortable because there is one super long chapter in here and that's like chapter seven. And that's the chapter that I was crying over because I felt like I wasn't ever going to finish with that chapter. But I'm about to close this out. And guess what? I am going to do a second one. So if you want to, stay tuned. Because chapter three is coming up. And chapter three is the argument. Who ministers to the minister? I'll be right back. <laughs>